to solidarity. What a beautiful opening Professor Rohit did for us this morning. Music, apart from being a great entertaining platform and medium for aesthetics, has got to profound benefits on the mind and body. Music travels from the source via the sound waves in the atmosphere and reaches the mind of the listener. And as soon as we hear a piece of music or a melody or a song, our mind starts sending signals to different parts of the body. However, there is a transition in our mechanics in the body that happens. We graduate from hearing to listening if we enjoy that piece of music. And as we listen, and enjoy that melody. Our nervous system calms down. It's almost like our brain giving a signal to the nervous system and saying, hey, I think we like what we're hearing. Why don't we calm down? And this process of relaxation starts producing the feel-good hormones in our body, which is endorphins, the hormones of energy and the hormone of pleasure, which is dopamine. These two hormones together are the context of the therapeutic effect that music has or sound has on the body and in scientific parlance of brain research, it's called cognitive preservation. The impact of sound on the brain activates the brain cells, makes it healthier. So does the body's cells regenerate, the tired cells, the damaged cells regenerate with the production of endorphins and dopamine. Hence, to be in peaceful solitude, to be at peace with oneself, music is a great medium. Hence, it's used in rehabilitation clinics, medical centers, boardrooms, training rooms, and I'm so happy it's used so actively in an institution like the Indian Institute of Management in Shillong. The other profound lesson that music teaches us, which is closer to my heart, being an HR practitioner and a leadership trainer, is the engagement of music with your own craft, with your co-musicians, with the audience, with the technology, with changing needs and tastes teaches us lessons of leadership. And most importantly, to understand each other, work with each other, respect each other, and show solidarity to all the enablers in our ecosystem that help us present our offering. I won't be anyone without my co-facilitators and today the team who has put this beautiful event together are my neighbors. Hence music is a great medium to learn leadership. The art of partnerships, the art of collaboration, what better than the orchestra? How is music created? 
created and why do we learn creativity through music? Why do we associate the word creativity, innovation, aesthetics with music? Music is composed of two elements. Sur, the seven notes. And rhythm and tal. The various beats that we hear for different genres. And these seven notes operate on an octave or a platform with the two levers of melody and rhythm and create music. But how is it actually created? We say Saragama Padhani in the Indian context. For the Western world, it's Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do Do Ti La So Fa Mi Re Do. And the world of music, all the music that you hear in this universe across the world by different artists, singers, musicians, instrumentalists, composers in different genres, languages, rhythms from different countries is based on only these seven notes. Whether it's an Indian classical piece, a Western classical piece, Hollywood, Bollywood, reggae, rock, jazz, folk, folk of Assam, Bihu, or the folk of Meghalaya, or Celtic music from Scotland, the gypsy music, African folk, all the music in the world is based on these seven notes. Hence, creativity in institutes like Harvard is taught through the medium of music a lot. But let me show you seven notes. If we give these seven notes to a guru of Indian classical music, he or she would create a rag. A morning raga. My mother is very happy, my guru, when I use the right ragas at the right time. Domain is king in the world of business and professionalism, right? So, depending on what our domain is, we give form to aesthetics or we give aesthetics to form based on what our domain is. We give these same seven notes to a music director in Bollywood. What would he or she create? Let's see. created by, composed by Shantanu Moitra for the film with a lot of thought, with a lot of intent. It took many months to create this melody. What about a song in the club, in the cabaret? Does that have seven notes? Baby. 
cabaret way. Now, this is a song in the cabaret, and we think that different songs of different genres are made of a different emotion. Yes, they are made of a different emotion, but the seven notes are the same. Whether in a temple or a church or on the street or an item number in Bollywood, it is the same seven notes. Hence, the first lesson of solidarity and the ethos of solidarity is inclusion. There is no class or mass in music. All the seven notes are same across all genres of music. And that's a great medium to also encourage our youngsters, our children, to be able to engage in music. These two were Hindi songs. Let's see if you can recognize this one, which is from Hollywood. Of course, whatever we hear, an artist like myself, who's trained in Indian music, whatever we hear from the universe, we interpret it with, into our own language, our seven notes. Sa, 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 di, sa. Sasani sari gaji, sasasasani sahapa. Far across the distance and the spaces between us, you've come to see you go on. Sare, wherever you are, Rama, Madhuri, Sani, sa, my heart will go on. Western violinist, but am I shy to play an English song? No, because my expression, my communication is with my seven notes, and yours could be with your seven notes, your language. The idea that the world comes together is not because of the languages we speak, because of the intent to help each other, connect to each other, emote for each other, and understand each other. Hence, that was an example. We move on to the classics, which says, the art of collaboration is best learned through the orchestra. Different mediums, today in my small little setup, I don't have my band mem members, but I have so many elements. I have an electronic tanpura, which is giving me the two standing notes of music. I have a Scottish violin plugged in into the system, a small little innovation. I have a bow, which is the main instrument that makes the sound in the violin. I have a mic, which makes me express my voice. I have audience, I have good sound, I have lights. All of these together come together to create that sound. In the orchestra, we have leather and drums, we have strings, we have wind, we've got all kinds of new instruments, but all together create that one sound. What is fusion of music? Coming together, yet each one expressing and maintaining their identity. Let me try and play Mozart. Mozart in my Indian notes. What you see, ladies and gentlemen, are the visuals. What you hear are the lyrics. What lies beneath every musical composition are the seven notes, like the values of life. What you see is success, dynamism, great countries being led by great leaders. But what lies beneath those efforts are the values that guide those leaders, all those countries, all those organizations. Hence, the seven notes recreated, recomposed, innovated in various forms, permutations, combinations, create the world of music. Hence, what do we need in our life? We need to create more with less. The seven notes and hundreds and thousands and millions and trillions of melodies with just these seven notes. Mozart. Sa ni sari sari ga te ga pa ma ga re. Sa ni sari sari ga te ga pa ma ga re. Sa 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 ni ga pa ma da 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 pa ma ga re. Ma 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 ga re sa ga re sa ni sa. Mozart, along with Rag Balabal, the same seven notes. <laughs> Thank you. 
the art of collaboration. I'd like to end with the feeling that the world is one. With an Assamese folk ending with a Scottish reel, the same seven notes, love is universal, humanity is universal, music is universal. So it's easy to go from solitude to solidarity. Bhuluka bahude, 